The last two elections have been base elections. Turn out the base and you win. Not this time. If it's McCain versus Obama, there are, these are the two candidates who appeal most strongly to Indies and to soft partisans. In fact, that may be why this is such a fluid and chaotic election, because the true believers in both parties both have qualms about Barack Obama and about John McCain. With the economy being where it is, with Bush at 30%, with 81% in the most recent poll saying America is on the wrong track, with the economy in or close to recession, with unemployment rising, with a sub subprime mortgage crisis, the Democratic candidate for president should be 20 points ahead, at least right now. But Obama and Hillary are not. McCain, in every poll, is either even or slightly ahead. The fight between Hillary and Obama, I think, is taking quite a toll on the Democratic Party. Everything that I see points to Obama, but there is no sign that Senator Clinton is getting out anytime soon. It was Bill Clinton, who I obviously don't quote very often, who said that the most optimistic candidate usually wins. If that's the case, Barack Obama is likely to be the Democratic nominee. As far as the Republicans, John McCain is the one candidate, one Republican, who could win. He will have a united party. The conservatives will come home. And if nothing else works, Senator Clinton will ensure a united Republican party. McCain gets along with the press. Some have argued that's his true constituency and with independence. National security and foreign policy will obviously be a plus for McCain. But the economy, I think, turns out to be the key for this election. Everybody has said it, it is a change election. This is not a time, I believe, for continuity, nor is it a time to return to the soap opera of the 90s. I think the, so the next several months will be absolutely fascinating, and it certainly is not anything that we have seen in our lifetimes.